Peter Block in Philadelphia at the AHA annual convention uh, for On the Scene. On my left is Sripal Bangladore from New York, and Sripal is one of the investigators for what is in this meeting the big three, right? Ischemia, ischemia, and ischemia. Ischemia in general, ischemia CKD, which is really yours, yeah. uh, the chronic kidney disease portion of it, and that's an issue that we all in interventions are very worried about, right? Yeah. So, uh, Sripal, I'm not going to take any away any of your thunder here, but tell me about your part of the trial very quickly, and then tell me about the outcomes, because the outcomes I was a little surprised by, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. I mean, the, way, the reason we designed it is, as you know, uh, Every trial in the past has excluded uh, CKD patients. If you look at COURAGE trial at 16 patients with GFR less than 30, FAME2 trial at 20 patients, that's the evidence we have. And we have a ton of CKD patients, dialysis patients. The question is, what is the best option for them? Uh, so we designed this trial, randomized 777 patients, so it's the largest treatment strategy trial comparing invasive versus conservative in this uh, group of patients. So again, this is like the general ischemia trial. Your endpoints were hard and soft endpoints right. going forward, but you compared, <clears throat> what did you compare? How did you compare uh, what was done to these patients in terms of minimizing their risk? I think that's an important question. Yeah, that's actually extremely important, and this is one of the reasons uh, mm -hmm. you know, we did design this as a parallel trial to run in with the main trial. We didn't want to say we'll merge both of the trials. And in fact, this trial started a year after the main trial started enrolling under a separate grant. But the way we designed this was to not only maximize cardiovascular benefits, but to minimize the risk of AKI. Right. And specifically, we are all worried about contrast associated in, uh, kidney injury, especially we are enrolling CKD stage four and five. So we had a protocol in place that uh, for every patient who are randomized to invasive strategy, not on dialysis, we actually provided to the site a customized hydration protocol based on patient's body weight. Before they get contrast. Before they get contrast. Right. And Important. once in the lab, we, we trained them to say, don't guess, you have to measure an EDP. And based on the EDP, titrate your volume status. And we also gave the sites um, uh, what volume of contrast for a heart stop. So we said, this patient, GFR this, this is the maximum you can go. And we trained them uh, to actually do an ultra low volume and zero contrast pro PCI protocol. So in fact, these were pretty good operators yeah. who knew what they were doing yeah. as far as minimizing kidney damage right. with contrast. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. Now we have a group of patients that are yeah. treated medically versus a group of patients uh, that are treating with invasion. I would have thought that maybe the medical therapy patients would have done better because yeah. they didn't get any contrast That's and right. so forth. But it turns out that... Yeah. So it turns out that the primary outcome, which was a hard endpoint of uh, death or MI, was actually not different between the two groups. I mean, if you look at the curves, they're superimposed. We didn't find any difference. And this is true for um, many of the endpoints, including major secondary outcomes and uh, mortality. Mortality, I think, is something important and needs to be discussed because our three-year mortality rates are over 25 percent. So, uh, and, if and that's probably because of their kidneys. Though. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, if you look at these group of patients, I mean, they're much higher than the main trial. The event rates were like three folds higher. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, we do see that. Yeah. Well, bad, bad kidney disease is yeah. not good for you, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, at the end of the day, what's the message from this trial, this portion of the trial? Yeah. So, this portion is also we have to incorporate the quality of life. So, I, I do see a lot of synergy within, between the main trial and uh, the CKD trial in terms of clinical outcomes. Um, but in terms of quality of life, that's where the difference appears. In the CKD cohort, half the patients randomized did not have any symptoms. So, but if you look at their overall quality of life, we didn't see that significant benefit in quality of life we saw in the main trial. So in the main trial, invasive strategy was associated with significant benefit for quality of life, and it was durable to four years. In the CKD group of patients, we found that there is a benefit at three months, but we didn't see that durability. Uh, so I think that's the major difference. Uh, the take home to me is, if the patient has advanced CKD and they do not have symptoms, I don't think doing an invasive strategy will actually prolong their survival. But of course, this doesn't apply to patients who are very symptomatic. You know, on the other hand, you know, I looked at these data as well, and we talked about it earlier. Yeah. I think that if you look at the data, it tells me, you know, if you really know yeah. what you're doing in yeah. terms of prehydration, yeah. minimizing contrast, yeah. and so forth, 
you don't pay a big penalty. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think that's one of the big take home. Because in this group of patients, the expected uh, acute kidney injury rates are 30 to 60 percent. Our observed rates were 7 percent. So it's like a lot lower. Yeah. So if you do the right things, you likely won't kill the patient for sure. Uh, but the question is, uh, you need to have a reason to do this. And hopefully that reason is patients are symptomatic. Somebody once told me, if you do the right thing, you can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but in fact, this has been a very interesting portion of this trial. Yeah. But I do believe that there's a lot of information here for the interventionist who has a patient with kidney disease, and they can get away with it if yeah. they're quite careful. Yeah, the outcomes really are not going to be that different. Thank yeah. you, Sri Paul. Thank you. Thank you.